having a great day. I have a beautiful, very long bell truss wig to show you guys, but before I get to her, let me tell you about the piece I am wearing. This is the John Renault Top Style Synthetic in 18 inch, and the color is 10H16. It's one of my very favorite toppers. Very easy to wear, definitely a go-to for me. All right, getting back to this bell truss wig, this is Bohemia. Um, and the color I'm showing you is English toffee. Now this is obviously a curly wig, but a very kind of big curled wig. Um, not really wavy, I don't know, we'll have to see when we get around what she's all about with this curl pattern, but the uh, fibers do feel really good. Bell truss pieces always feel really silky to me, so I'm um, excited to try this one as well. Now this is a 22 inch piece, it's very long and six ounces, so it's pretty heavy. Uh, with all these fibers in here that are curled. Now the cap construction on this one, it has a lace part that just goes right into the lace front. So it's just one continuous piece of lace here. And then it has just the standard cap right here. It's not mono on the top. And then it is stretchy and wefted as well. Um, this is an average cap size and let's see, I don't know if this one's heat friendly. I'll have to double check on that before I put her on. Um, but again, the color is the English toffee, which is a blend of a medium chocolate and a light brown auburn highlights. So overall a rich dark brown color and you can see a little bit of the highlights in there, which is beautiful with the curl pattern because it just accentuates those highlights in there. So I'm going to go put her on. So we can just see what this curl is all about. All right, y'all, be screenshot ready. Here are all the details on Belle Tress's Bohemia. Okay, this is Bohemia, va va voom. The curls are absolutely beautiful. Um, this is very reminiscent. I feel like I look like my mom <laughs> because back in the 80s, she would do uh, big, heated curlers in her hair like before church or um, after she washed her hair for the week and I remember her you know having those hot rollers in her hair and then she'd take them out and her hair was shorter but it looked just like this it was just big and voluminous and um, it had those big curls in it so very reminiscent of um, I guess that's why they described it as roller set curls but this does look like I just had my hair in hot rollers and um, it's absolutely beautiful. It's very pretty. I feel like if it were a lighter color that maybe had some highlights, you could actually see more of the definition of the curls. But the curls definitely are the um, wow factor in this wig. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the volume in this. The only thing that um, stood out to me were these like two pieces down here. I have to get on my tiptoes. They, <laughs> I mean, they're meant to be the longest piece in the wig, but they kind of are just much, much longer than the other pieces. I don't know, they're kind of thin and, and just kind of hang down. So if this were my personal wig, I might just kind of chop this off to kind of even it out. So as you can see, it just kind of looks weird and scraggly down at the bottom. But everything else is um, beautiful and full. And this is a lot of hair and it does say that it is six ounces, which is a pretty heavy wig, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. On my head of course I haven't worn it all day but um, it does feel really comfortable on my head and again these curls are absolutely beautiful so uh, to take care of this piece you definitely are gonna need to gently pick through it to keep the curls intact but um, the bell truss pieces do have beautiful silky fibers and this does feel really good it doesn't feel super coarse if it were a more coarse fiber I'd be afraid that it would tangle even more. So you definitely want to gently pick through and wet them and then just kind of encourage them in the direction that they were meant to go and let it dry. And then, you know, you can just kind of shake it out or loosely finger through it. And I think it would keep it intact. Now this does have the shorter layer right here um, that kind of frames the face really pretty. Um, it's just a really pretty look. I mean, you definitely have to be going for the big curly look to wear this piece. You're not going to be able to straighten it out or kind of make these um, like beachy waves. This is definitely going to be a roller, roller curl look. All right, let me show you the lace front here. You can definitely see the knotting, um, but that's pretty typical with darker pieces and the lace front. Um, you will see the knotting on this. It's not super, super obvious, but, and you could even kind of wear this a little, a little more down instead of flipped up. It just kind of naturally wanted to flip up, so I just let it go where it wanted to go. 
<laughs> styling options with this, you can definitely pull it back here and kind of clip it and let these curls fall forward. You could gently um, put it in a ponytail, maybe with like a scrunchie or something. Um, nothing that would pull or damage the curls too much. It's really pretty side swept. Um, you kind of get that pin up look if you do a little side swept. Maybe put a few bobby pins in the back there and let all this curl fall to the front. But it's absolutely beautiful. All right, let me give you a 360. This is the right, this is the back, and then the left side all the way around. All right, again, I think I talked about the fit. This does fit comfortably on my head. The ear tabs are where they're supposed to be. It's not bunching. So for an average cap size, it fits like it should. Again, this color is English toffee, the blend of medium chocolate with Auburn highlights. Um, it's not very highlighted. It just has an overall dark brown look to it, but there is a little bit of variation in the color you can see a little bit of highlight in there it's not super obvious but a very dark warm brown um just absolutely beautiful all right if you need a voluminous curly wig in your life like bohemia head on over to wigs by pattyspearls.com the manufacturer is bell trust again this is bohemia and the color i'm wearing is english toffee all right i'll see you guys next time